that we can have all of these people here to bear witness to greatness and history in the making. You know, I was, I was, I was very impressed with Richard because he was so articulate. He said, and Bernard will make his attempt. You know, that's what it would be, an attempt. You know what I mean? But the mere fact that he can attempt you got to, you got to, you know, he's five star. You got to be able to, you got to be able to bow your head and, 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 and bend your knee and confess, thou art the greatest, because he's a, he's a tremendous athlete. He's a great fighter. I love the man. I have no problem at all with him, and I think it would be a crowning achievement for Tavares to do what he does best, 24 and 0, to make it 25 and 0. You know, so if he if he does this here, there is no loser, and so we all would have. And you know, you're going to have people like Harold Letterman, he'll be sitting there with his pencil smoking as he goes from one, one box to the next box for the rounds. So you're going to have a really an exciting, exciting time. This young man I'm about to introduce to you now, he's hungry, he needs the money, he wants the fame and the claim and the affluence has been denying him, and now this is his opportunity in the land of Thank you, Don. Good evening, Brooklyn. Uh, once again, I would like to thank the Barclays Center, thank HBO, Bernard Hopkins, everybody on his team that uh, uh, you know, I feel I feel good because my whole life I watched boxing. Mm -hmm. My whole life I watched boxing and, and you see those guys fighting on TV and, and you say, man, I can do that. I, I wish that was me, you know, give me a chance, you know. If I was up there, I'd do it like this, I'd do it like that. And, you know, fighting a fighter like Bernard Hopkins who is supposed to be a legend, uh, it puts me in that frame of mind that, you know, Clyde, you, you know what, you stayed in the game, you, you kept working hard, and, and now you're going you to get your shot to uh, be on TV and, and be in a fight like that. So it, it's really exciting for me. It's really exciting for me. So it's, from, from the jump, from the start, it put me on my toes. You know, it really put me on my toes, but I know this Saturday I'm going to be victorious because I'm going to put on a great show. Uh, also, I want to thank my, my amateur coach, the man that I, uh, it all started with, Alonzo Johnson, bringing me in that, bringing me in that, uh, that gym, never turning his back on me. And uh, me and Coach, you know, we, we, we started at the bottom. Just like you say, you just because you were born at the bottom don't mean you got to stay at the bottom. So we, we, we going to put that bologna way, way in the back because we going to go get us some steak after this. Uh, I want to thank Abel Sanchez, my new trainer, for... Uh, Allow me to come into his training camp and bring bring me in like one of his own. We train very hard up in Big Bear. I'm ready, you know I'm ready, and uh, I, I just feel like standing up here. I just feel like I, I feel different. Feel like I can't be beat. I always felt like that, you know. You got to feel like that being a fighter, but I just feel like it's a different type of energy because. Really, I feel like I beat so many odds that, you know, similar to Bernard Hawkins, you know, I feel like I beat so many odds, like, the hell is another fight, you know? I don't, I don't really care about another fight, you know? I mean, you, you go into the fight, you put everything into it, but, you know, I feel kind of invincible, you know? But it's gonna be a good fight. So, thank you once again. And I hope everybody come out Saturday and check out the fight. And uh, Boy, keep talking, man. I'm saying just do your thing, man. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to hear what you're saying back there too. Yeah, so Saturday Saturday y'all y'all come out uh and watch Tavares Cloud, you know, and uh watch, watch all this stuff. Watch all uh come come to fruition. Cause uh, you know, God God he brought me from he brought me out of nowhere. I know he ain't about to turn his back on me now, so I ain't I ain't worried about all the criticism what people might say, but we gonna have a good time. Right. Welcoming yet Bernard with another record, the oldest man ever to win a world championship. And it's really interesting, you can go on YouTube and listen to the speech up in Canada, which uh, Jean Pascal gave. And we all know what happened. Bernard in the middle of the round started to do push-ups. So in the middle of the ring, so don't be surprised if you're gonna see that again. Bernard Hopkins really doesn't need any introduction. What he, ha what he has accomplished speaks for itself. You call him a dirty fighter, and I can't find where they've ever taken a point from. I've never seen the man disqualify. You know, so what I'm saying is, be fair. Understand what you're watching. Some people say, Bernard Hopkins style of boxing is to the point where judges don't even know how to judge him anymore. Because it's a throwback style of boxing. Boxing, if you want fighting, there's another sport out there that, that does nothing but that. Boxing is an art. It's, and the art that I, I, I practice with my athletes is to swim without getting wet. Boxing is not here for you knock me down, I knock you down, then that's fight of the year. Or you lump out, I watch a young kid, I'm not gonna say his name, but I've known him, young kid out of Florida. Boxes behind off and all they did was criticize him. Then the kid got in a fight where both his eyes got closed and he was against the ropes the whole fight, and they praised him. Boxing. I have an athlete who boxes his behind off. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now so you don't get upset. Bernard Hawkins has already left the building. Bernard Hawkins has, has, has gone back home, I believe, but he will be here ringside to see the fight. Don't worry, because the executioner is still here. And the executioner will be here Saturday. And for those of you who've been on that long journey, who've seen it from years going by, Mr. Letterman and quite a few faces I've seen out there, you guys have been watching him for years, you'll be able to say, that's the execution. I remember him. Because that's what you'll see Saturday. This young man I've been watching since he was an amateur fighter. Outstanding young man. Actually, I think he's underrated, my son. This kid, Cloud, I think he's underrated. For you, talk about the Capilo fight, I don't even count that fight. I don't even count that fight. Because the man, like I said, Capilo wasn't taken as a serious threat as he should have been. But that's youth, and he's learned. You're going to see the best Cloud execution. And you're going to have to. Because like I said, Saturday, for those of y'all that can remember, not Bernard Hopkins and not Beha. Saturday you will see the, the return of the execution. And for those of you who can remember, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I've, I've seen him in the gym. Men don't get over overnight. That's a rumor. Your fighter might get old overnight. There's no such thing as getting old overnight. A guy got old in the gym. I've worked with older fighters. They get old in the gym, but there's too many people around them not wanting to tell them the truth. So then it looks like they're old overnight, but they showed that in the gym. So I watched very closely in the gym, and I saw the return of the executioner. So like I said, I thank you for your patience, and I thank you for your time. But like I said, Saturday, you'll see the execution. Thank you everybody for coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, can I say, the executioner. On his behalf, like I said, anybody here ever seen an executioner coming to the podium with an ax and then have a conversation? I'm trying to tell y'all, this is the athlete that I have. My athlete is back. The executioner is back. This is what you'll see Saturday. Thank you for coming out. We have uh, Rosie Perez here, a beautiful actress, uh, world renowned, of course, and she is going to be doing the coin flip. Uh, under the supervision of the chairwoman of the Athletic Commission, Melvina Latham, and it's going to be head for Hopkins and T for Travoris. So if we can get that uh, going, thank you. Don't feel bad, Richard. The executioner is here. He's here. We understand he's here. I saw you were scared. Oh, yes, don't feel bad. Everything will be all right. And this ain't convicted of all you, man. It ain't convicted of you. But it's out of the box. And Rosie Perez, what is it?
Heads, okay? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Ruby. We will have Bernard walk second. Oh. Okay. All right, we okay. We okay. Everything is good. And we're here in the hood, Thank you. right here in Brooklyn. On March 9th, on HBO World Championship Boxing, it's an action-packed doubleheader. Undefeated, Tavoris Cloud defends his light heavyweight title against future Hall of Famer Bernard the Executioner Hopkins. Good left by Hopkins. Straight right hand, right on the chin for Hopkins. Who's looking to break his own record as the oldest fighter to win a title. Plus, top contender Keith Thurman puts his undefeated record on the line against former welterweight champion Jan Zavik. This is going to be war as soon as the bell rings. HBO World Championship Boxing, Cloud versus Hopkins, live Saturday, March 9th at 9.30.